Well, good morning, my family and friends, uh, my Galilee family and friends. This is Paula with another Friday, Friday Focus. So I must admit the last few weeks, I haven't really felt like myself. Um, and I feel like I need to confess because I'm always the one that giving advice on not worrying and reaching out to God, but you know, I'm human. And so my, um, one of my sayings is take my advice. I'm not using it right now. Um, so um, I've been doing some self-discovering and really getting into the word and reading some devotions and obviously like anything else that certainly helps. Um, but one of the things I tend to overthink, um, especially lately, um, and I know you really shouldn't do that, um, but I do. And it's, it's, I guess it's a form of a control because I, it's, I'm overthinking um, about things that I have no control over. And when you think about it, what, I mean, what do we have control over other than our own actions? But um, the one scripture that really um, jumped out to me is Matthew uh, 6, 27. Overthinking is fruitless, but trusting God changes everything. And I know this. I know we all do. But there's sometimes it's just like I need to turn around and refocus. Um, so have you ever like been overthinking um, uh, and just getting yourself all worked up because you're thinking and when you're thinking from a negative point of view, it only just gets worse. Um, and usually you're thinking overthinking about stuff that probably not going to happen. Um, and it's just, and if it is something bad's going to happen, we can't stop it. it it's out of our hands. Um, we can't control what someone else is thinking. We can't control someone else's choices. When that's a hard one I have, especially when there's people in your family um, and you don't think it's the right choice. And, and again, I know that it's not up to me what they choose. You know, made my own mistakes in my life. It's time they may have to do their own mistakes. Um, and you can't control what happened in the past. And usually you can't control the timing or results of events that will just play itself out. And we have no idea how that's going to be. So I'm really, really working on this. Because um, if you're doing this kind of thing and overthinking and worrying and stress, you're not happy. It's not helping you any. And so there's some of the passages, um, well, Philippians 4, 8 through 7, I mean, uh, excuse me, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus, Christ Jesus. First Timothy 1 through 5. Thinking exists to serve love. And First Peter 1, verse 8, thinking exists to serve joy. And those two things I really, really circled because I think thinking can exist, which means God made us to think, but it exists to serve love and to serve joy. Um, and... I know that's true because I know when we do visitations or whatever, we're, we're serving love, we're serving joy. It does make you feel so much better and you're not thinking about really anything other than what you're doing in that moment. And then Matthew 6, 31 to 34. Therefore, do not be anxious saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles, seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all, but seek first the kingdom of God 
and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So, overthinking has been in the Bible since, like, day one. It, we were human. <laughs> we're sinners. So, no matter what, we keep going back to what we shouldn't be doing, overthinking, instead of, like, okay, God, here it is. You control it, and I'm out. Um, that is a hard thing to do, and even though we know this is what we're supposed to do, God wants us to do, and he's going to take care of it. And um, overthinking, I know just that I was reading that obviously if you just continuously do it, it develops anxiety, depression. Um, I certainly know that's true. So, um, and we're supposed to have faith. And I talk about that all the time. And I know I do have faith. And I just got to get back to thinking he's got me right in the palm of his hand. And he's never going to forsake me. And I may not like how things turn out. But I know that God has me and, and my loved ones. Um, no matter how what thing is turning out. Uh, may not be the way I want it, but eventually um, it'll work itself out. And I, I, I do know that. So that's my big focus for this week. Um, start practicing what I preach. You know, when I say, look, you know, look up to God, um, because he is the one we're supposed to be looking up to. Uh, and really letting go of these things that I have no control over. And that's going to be my big focus, um, is really handing it over to God and focus on what I can do. And that's really in me and myself. I can control myself. Because sometimes that's not easy, controlling me. And so... Um, that's all I really have to say. We have a lot of things coming up. Um, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up, and then we're going to be right into Advent. Uh, Advent's going to be really only three weeks because Thanksgiving is late, but we'll be having um, a sign-up list soon, probably maybe next weekend, for our uh, lunches and dinners. And then we go right into Christmas. And so everything is like all good. Oh, and the night before Thanksgiving, we have Pie Fest. And I think it... I think pie, the service is around 7, Pie Fest is about 7.30. And so please come in um, for the service and join us in fellowship for pie and coffee and, I guess, water, or we have some juices. And also um, a little shout-out to Sandra. I, you know, we only do it once a month now, so I don't really get to talk to you that much, but I do wish you a wonderful Thanksgiving. And so um, I'm going to put a smile on my face and hopefully you all forgive me for sometimes um, forgetting also what I'm supposed to do and you keep in faith and trusting that everything's going to work out and I don't need to intervene. And I will hopefully along with you continue to look up until next time.